everybody welcome back to my channel so I've got a little bit of a haul for you as usual you guys know I do not get things sent to me I'm not that kind of youtuber I bought all this stuff myself over the last few weeks this was not a one-off lost my mind shopping spree this was literally the last let's say a couple of weeks worth of stuff that I've picked up and um, most of it I've used once or twice so I can give you a kind of first impressions and um, yeah so just want to share with you what my thoughts are on all this new stuff. I'm going to start at the drugstore because that's you know easy everyone's familiar everyone's affordable so the first thing I picked up is this Boots Lanolin nipple cream now I know what you're thinking I've got lipstick on my teeth. Is that what you're thinking? I know what you're thinking. This is going to be too much information. But I did not buy this for my nipples. Let's just get that. Let's get that out of the way. So this is actually lanolin. Um, and if you've ever seen that, um, what's it called? The lip balm that's called, like, is it Dr. Brandt? Or um, one of those brands that does a, it's called a nipple cream. But it's actually for your lips, like a lip balm. So that is exactly the same as this, which actually is supposed to be for your nips. Now, if you're confused as to why you'd have a cream for your nips, it's for mothers who are breastfeeding. It's painful, they get sore, you put a cream on. I've used this for that purpose and I can say it is phenomenal. Very, very soothing. The only thing that brings you any comfort during that time. Let's just say that. So. It's also very, very natural. So it's the, again, one of the only things that you can use because obviously if your baby is breastfeeding from you, you couldn't put anything there that was, it could not be, you know, eaten by a baby because it's likely to get in the baby's mouth. So it is the ultimate natural product that, you know, is, is safe for that. So it's very, very natural. It's literally 100% lanolin. And it's like making me so awkward talking about nipples there's just so much talk about nipples i just don't know what to do with myself so these really expensive nipple balms nipple god these <laughs> these really expensive lip balms um that you see that are called like nipple balms or nipple cream but they're actually lip balms are the exact same thing as this and when i saw those for sale and they're like 15 pounds i was like I looked at the ingredients and those are literally the exact same thing, 100% lanolin, which is what this was, and this was £8, Boots own, exactly the same, and these are so good, this stuff for chapped or dry lips, which I really suffer with, and as we're coming into like the colder months now, it's basically winter in the UK already, then this is going to be a lifesaver, and you can put it on overnight, and it's just so soothing, and you'll wake up with like baby soft lips. I'm ready. So the next kind of skincare item I picked up is this collagen wrinkle decrease night cream from L'Oreal. Now I've only used this the first time last night because I've just run out of my first, my, my last one. It smells beautiful. It was so nice to put on. It's I really like a really rich night cream. Um, I always go for like a wrinkle decrease type of like early aging type of night cream. I don't want a really heavy, thick, rich cream for my day cream because like you've got to put makeup on top of it and all that kind of stuff. It takes ages to soak in. Whereas for night, I want a really rich cream. I don't I don't want to wake up with my skin feeling dry. I want to wake up feeling still moisturize and this did that last night so I woke up this morning I still felt smooth and moisturized and hydrated even like you know nine hours later when I woke up so so far so good I'll keep you posted on this one I buy skincare like I buy wine which is to say that I will just buy the one that has been reduced by the most that is my whole tactic if you like so this one, I think it was like originally really expensive, like for, for me, for a drugstore, a like skincare product. It was probably around £20, but it was like half price to 10 So I was like, well, it's got to be good. It's half price. So we'll see. We'll see how I get on. So my last drugstore item is the L'Oreal True Match Foundation. So I've been trying to, I've tried a few different drugstore foundations. I'm generally a high-end foundation lover. 
Um, but I have tried the L'Oreal, what's it called? So I have tried the L'Oreal Pro Matte, which I quite like, but it is matte, so I tend to only use it occasionally when I'm going for that vibe. I also like the Maybelline Fit Me Matte and Poreless, I think it's called. That one is nice. Um, and I've also tried the number seven foundation, which I have reviewed and is either live now or coming very, very soon. But other than that, I've never really tried that many drugstore foundations that I've loved. But I have heard a lot of good things about this one. This is the L'Oreal True Match Super Blendable Foundation. And I got it in the shade 5W Golden Sand, which I'm not happy about because let me tell you, I went into the shop and I was thinking I want to pick up probably 4W, which I think is golden beige, I think. Um, they didn't have it. They didn't even have a tester. They also didn't have 3W. They didn't have a tester of that one either. They, so basically my options were either to go for a neutral shade or the lightest, the first warm shade they actually had was 5, which I think it'll be fine for me now but it's probably not gonna work for me too long into the winter, so that's a bit annoying. But I just really wanted to try it out. This was 9.99, which is like a bargain as far as I'm concerned for foundation. It's supposed to be quite similar to the Armani Luminous Silk, I think, So, which I love. So I'll give it a go. I'll do a review and we'll see how we get on. I'm hoping, what I really want is to have a drugstore foundation that I love so I can buy it in a few shades because I don't want to buy a few shades of a high-end foundation. That's going to cost me a thousand pounds. What I want is a few shades of a foundation I love that is cheap to cover me for all bases. So then I bought one item from Cult Beauty and that is this Huda Beauty liquid matte lipstick in the shade Material Girl which is what I have on right now. I've only quickly, when it arrived like two days ago, I literally quickly put it on and made a hash of it and I was annoyed because I was thinking it was going to be much deeper. So if you can see it looks in the tube, a very deep berry shade let's say, whereas on the lips I don't know how it comes across on camera, but it's a bit lighter than I was expecting, but it does dry down darker. It does actually say that on the packaging, that they dry down and set darker. So I'm actually really loving this shade now. I put this on just before this so I could show you. Um, it is comfortable. They feel slightly tacky, which just gives you that little bit of comfort when you have that little bit of tack left. They're not 100% dried down. Um, let's just see. Oh my God, I did that really lightly because I fully expected it to come off and literally nothing has come off. And that is a wet baby wipe. I had amazing things about these. Um, this was a shade I've been trying to find a shade like this type of shade in a formula that I like. So I've like, you know, Jeffree Star or the Dose of Colours. The, I tried Bury Me in the Dose of Colours, but that was much pinker, too light. And I saw this one, I was like, I'm gonna give it a go. The only thing I'll say is, got a strange smell. It reminds me of something you would drink in a shot. I don't know if I like it or not. It's a weird smell that is quite strong. I've already put my review up on this product so you know that I've got this and this is the Charlotte Tilbury contour wand and I have the lighter shade fair to medium. Now I have a whole review up on this which I'll link below if you want to see the full first impressions that I did on this but I've now been using this for about a week. So to give you just my updated thoughts, I love it. I've started to get scared to use it because I don't want ever this, want this to run out because this is expensive, it's 29 pounds, but it is just so easy to use, so foolproof, so natural, beautiful, the perfect color, the perfect size applicator. It's just, I love using it. It doesn't have much of a smell. I just literally will squeeze it until I start to see the sponge move so you know product's coming. I don't squeeze it until product is out. I just like do it lightly. And if you then just let go, if you squeeze too hard, the product does go back in so you don't have to worry about getting way too much out. It's actually really easy to control. I have seen people hating this app, like packaging, but I love it. Um, I think it's brilliant. So I picked up a few things from MAC this last few weeks. So the first thing is a new lipstick. So I had a Back to MAC. If you don't know, Back to MAC is 
if you have like six empty Mac containers, excuse that weird lorry. So six of like these types of containers, all used up, you take them into your Mac and they'll give you any free lipstick you want. They have to be like a regular lipstick, not a liquid one and not the Viva Glam. So you can choose any of their regular permanent lipstick shades um, for free in exchange for those six empty containers, which is a pretty good deal. So I picked up the shade O, I'm assuming it's O and not zero. Now I picked this shade up, it's very different to what I normally wear. I normally sort of go towards cool tones, towards berries, purples, and or nudes. Um, but I just, when it's free, I kind of want to buy something or get something I wouldn't normally get or is different to what I've already got. So I saw this shade and it reminded me of the shade that is coming out, the new Viva Glam with Taraji P. Henson. And I'm really desperate to get my hands on that. I have ordered it, but it hasn't arrived yet. And it reminded me of that when I swatched it. It's this gorgeous bronzy shade with a bit of a shimmer to it. It is a frost finish and I'm really liking it. On my lips, it looks a bit redder than it does on swatch on my hand. So I was a little bit disappointed. Hence the reason I've still ordered the new Viva Glam because I want like a pure brown bronzy lip because I think that would just be everything for summer and for holiday. Next up, two products that have been on my list of things to swatch and to look at for God only knows how long. The first is this blush, mineralized blush in the shade Warm Soul. Now I'm sure everybody and their mother knows about Warm Soul blush and I have been hearing about it and seeing it for years. It is one of the most popular MAC blushes. But I've just been telling myself for so long, I've got 100 blushes like that. It doesn't look different. It doesn't look like it will show up on my skin tone because it is quite light and I am quite tanned at the moment. But because it's just been on my list and I keep seeing people using it and it looks really beautiful and it is glowy, which is what I'm favoring at the moment in a blush and because we're coming up to winter, so my skin is gonna be more pale than I usually am, maybe it will show up. Anyway, I decided it was time I got it. So here is it swatched and you can see what I mean on my skin tone, it barely shows up. But what I love about this blush is it is idiot proof and I am an idiot when it comes to blush when it comes to blush I always go a bit heavy with blush I always like apply my blush and then I'm like oh god it's like it always like ends up too close in and just too much I end up trying to blend it out or even going over with powder to tone it down this like I don't even know how unless you were the fairest of the fair skinned how you would get this to be too much on the skin it's just can you see the glow and it's just so subtle and beautiful that I can like whack my brush in straight on my cheek because I've forgotten to tap it off because that is what I do every time and it will just look so natural so subtle I also feel like in my job because I work in a very sporty environment where no one wears much makeup at all if any that I don't want to go in with a full face makeup looking like this they'd think I'd gone nuts so I've never worn blush to work before but that I can wear because it's so natural so pretty never going to be too much and it's just foolproof I don't have to think I don't have to tap off I can just whack it on and there's never a mistake it is so special beautiful pretty everything great first blush starter blush teenage blush next up the eyeshadow soft brown do you feel like you've gone back in time 10 years because i'm so late to these parties i keep telling myself i don't need this because i have makeup geeks warm Br um, creme brulee and i have my anastasia palette which has lots of good warm tone transition shades so that's why i haven't bought soft brown but Again, it's something I've just had my eye on so much. And because I haven't been there, is it there? Because I haven't been wearing much eyeshadow in the last couple of weeks, because I have my eyebrows microbladed, I haven't been able to carve them out and haven't been able to do like a full blown eyeshadow look because I'm trying to keep, you know, makeup away from my peeling brows. So all I've been doing is just literally getting that one shade and just buffing it 
all around the crease and onto the lid and everywhere and that's all I've been doing and it's just so easy and I'm like that's what I'm going to do every day for the rest of my life for the for the work days for the work days so again it really helps me when I'm trying to be very very natural in work but still just want to wear a little bit of makeup that is perfect and I think lastly for MAC I got for the similar purposes that I'm trying to sort of speed up my work day makeup routine and also trying to sort of use minimal products and but still sort of look got something going on you know so I picked up this paint pot in the shade Indian wood and it is this beautiful bronzy shade let me just show you next to oh the lipstick because this is kind of the shade that I'm hoping that Taraji Viva Glam is going to be more like so here is oh and here is that paint pot so you can see how bronzy it is and it's just very glowy if you go a bit heavy handed with this, it will crease a little, which doesn't really bother me. But if you go quite light handed, it won't crease at all. Um, and the more you put on, the more glowy it will be, but then you will get that creasing. So it's kind of a balance. But I've just been, all I've been doing is soft brown all over the lid and the crease. And then on the days when I do want to do a bit more, I've been putting this just on my lid and it's just so wearable so beautiful but subtle and natural and pretty and just easy for every day so quick those two are a great combo so then i picked up this little beauty and now this is the galan l'or is how i'm assuming you say it this is a very expensive primer now i got mine from debenhams and i have been looking for a really high-end primer for a while I love my Charlotte Tilbury one, but I wanted to try another one because I'm looking for one that's going to be really, oh, hello, sweathead. I've been looking for one that's going to be really glowy and luminous and also have some like sort of skincare qualities. So that from the reviews online and what it says on the website about this, I thought maybe give this a try. Plus, of course, I was a little bit seduced by these real gold flecks that live in here. Who wouldn't be? So yeah, normally this is something like 40 plus pounds, but because I have like a Debenhams loyalty account on there, like they have a beauty card on Debenhams and I've been earning points over the last however long. I had 15 pound voucher. So I actually got this for 25 pound, which is like a pretty good deal in my head. I mean, it's obviously not the cheapest, but it's a lot cheaper than it would have been. So I've used this like two or three times. I'm literally only gonna save this for special and I'm not quite ready to give my full feedback just yet because I wanna use it more. But I will say that on those days where I've used this, without being able to fully put my finger on why, my makeup has just looked so much better. It really has. It has lasted better. It's looked smoother. It's looked more alive, younger, more luminous my makeup has my makeup has gone on better and lasted longer and I just can't quite there's just something it just looks better all to all around better and it's got to be this because that's all that's changed it is like beautiful and it just feels so weird it's like water jelly I heard I can't remember who it was I heard described it as that on a, in a review and that is exactly right water jelly so when you first pump it out it seems like such a small pump like how's I gonna do my face but I just do three dots and it just dissolves into like this liquid that you can easily cover your whole face with that one tiny pump so it will last a long time which is good value for money when you're playing that amount so this is the solid blender cleanser if you don't know this is like for me the best brush cleaner ever i don't just clean my beauty blender with this i clean all my brushes with it it's just so quick so easy and does such a good job of getting all the products out so it just looks like this it's just a, basically a bar of soap it makes everything smell lovely as well like a spa um, and it does last a decent amount of time probably a couple of months my last one is about to run out so what was a really good deal is at the moment on beauty bay any beauty blender purchase so one of these or a beauty blender itself you get this little set for free the mini blender cleanser which is amazing because now i've got like one and a half 
to last me for a while. And you also get a mini liquid blender cleanser, which I've never used, um, but it just like kind of looks like an oil brush cleaner. So that's perfect. But again, I'm set. Clean brushes for life. So I thought that was a really good, generous deal. And I also picked up from Beauty Bay this other bargain, these two dose of colours brushes. Now I've never used a dose of colours brush before. I haven't yet used these. These are brand new through the door this morning. Um, but I've heard really good things and these were half price. So uh, initially they're normally around like 21 pounds, I think these brushes. Um, but they were 13 80 and 12 60 so literally half price. So if they're still on, get yourself a bargain. So they have these gorgeous, this is the tapered blush, sorry, brush by the way, and this is the powder blush. So what I plan to do is use this one for my blush because it just looks like the perfect size for a nice soft blush. And this one I plan to use for like an under eye setting or an eye um, primer setting. Um, yeah, they feel very, very soft. They look, I love a big handle, you know, big white sleek handle with this rose gold and a very soft brush. So I have really high hopes for these and they were obviously like such a bargain, like half price. So I'm really hoping, I see Desi using these all the time. So I'm hoping these are going to be worth the spends. Of course anything I have not used yet I will feed back to you in a later video. I'll be reviewing the True Match coming up soon. So stay peeled and I will let you know how all these things are getting on in a future video. Okay I hope you enjoyed. I hope to see you again. Bye bye for now.